Hello, so making a video here about my ultimate objectives of Rebutta post that I just made. I've had this vision in my head for a couple of weeks now and it's really hard to describe a vision like this. So I've put together a uh, PowerPoint presentation in an attempt to sort of give some visual element. This is something I want to animate. I want to actually make a nice, beautiful flying websites in three-dimensional space sort of animation for it but I can't do that and until I find someone who can this will have to do so basically the story begins <coughs> we have a website here black.com and this website has an opinion that black is the only way and they've got an article here about how stupid people who think white is right are wrong and they're going to explain their opinion okay so this is think of this as the animation this is a website with an article on it floating in space but as we all know the internet doesn't exist just as a website there are multiple websites and what will often happen when you have one website with an opinion inevitably there's another website with an opposing opinion particularly on a contentious topic and so someone else owns this white.com website and they've read this article over at black.com and they've decided to write a counter argument to it and they've written black is so wrong and at this point this is pretty much how the internet is this guy's written a web uh, an article this guy has written a counter argument but there's no connection between the two uh, someone looking at this doesn't know this site exists someone looking at this doesn't necessarily know this site exists unless this website links to it and that's where rebutter comes into it when you're using rebutter the person who writes this or anyone else can connect this website to this website and whoever looks at this website will get this. This this page has one rebuttal alert in rebut rebutter. So far, so good. This is pretty straightforward. This is this is the story that we're telling you all for rebutter. That's as simple as it is. It's all you need to know to use it. But I think the consequences of this incredibly simple relationship is so much further reaching than this that I don't know if it's dangerous for me to try and explain it at this stage or, or just let it happen. But this animation that I'm trying, I want to make is about where I see this going. Because what I think happens is when you have it with one connection, it allows you to move on to the next series of connections. So the rebuttal, the person who at black.com reads white.com's rebuttal, and then they write back saying, actually, you don't know what you're talking about. And they write their own rebuttal, and they connect it to white. So now someone who comes here can use rebuttal to click through twice and get back to where they started and that's that's an online discussion the beauty of rebutter again you can read the discussion forwards but these discussions don't happen in a vacuum they're on the internet this is just one discussion between two websites in a sea of websites articles and discussions here's a different um, set of websites expressing exactly the same opinions but different websites um, two different websites and they've been in this discussion back and forth and back and forth and neither of them have changed their opinion it's black, no it's white, it's black, it's white, it's black, it's white no progress, that's typical of the net down here you've got two other websites um, expressing, let's say this is a different subject of the same sort of mater subject matter so no it's purple, no it's green, well maybe it's a sort of off purple you know, so maybe there's some concession here in the, in the discussion as it progresses still on this color uh, overall subject but the details of the argument are different to the ones up here so it's a different conversation but related and so forth around the web and again thanks to everybody you can connect these together um, I should point out that these red lines I'm using this red line to imply a direct rebuttal so all of these discussions here are this person has written an article directly rebutting this one and so forth so this is a these are conversations uh, this could be a conversation between two websites, one of them's changed their mind slightly, or it could be three different websites. This guy is replying to this guy, he's replying to this guy. So, if you can just, just try to paint this picture, this is the web, this is how it works. You've got these other articles just floating around freely. What then happens is, what you can also use Rebutter to do is connect, say, this article here to this reply over here. Because what we've got here is someone who's saying, you know, pink. And this guy's saying, no, black. You've got no idea what you're talking about. And this guy's saying, no, really, pink. And then either this guy or someone else has gone, well, actually, this conversation's already been had. Check out over here. 
And so I'll use blue here as a general rebuttal because this article is not directly rebutting this claim. It's just generally, maybe it's a well-argued case saying, well, actually, black. Um, it's specifically replying to this article, maybe, but maybe it's a good article in general, and it does actually rebut this one as well. So they've connected that up. So whoever's done that. So I'm just going to move that across in the animation. It flies across, and now we've got this sort of flow of this discussion entering into this better general rebuttal. And similarly up here, black, white, black, white, black, white. Oh, screw this, I'm not typing this anymore. Here, go look at this guy, because this guy knows what he's talking about. And maybe, and again, you know, this person may not have done it, maybe someone else did it. But then what happens? And maybe, maybe there's 10 or 20 rebuttals to this submitted to the system. What matters is that there's this one rebuttal down here, which is actually very well argued. It makes its case very strongly. And so the community, having added it to the system and having added it specifically this linkage can then vote on it as a good rebuttal so if it goes to the top everyone that looks at this page looks at this page up here the first rebuttal should be the best and hopefully in this in this example this is the best rebuttal available to this argument and so then going forwards while all this is happening maybe this is happening over here someone else has written this article and they're saying white gray they're saying you know I'm generally white, but but you know this guy's got some points. But, but notice they haven't actually written it. They, maybe they've never even seen this discussion. This discussion doesn't exist as far as they're concerned. They've just written an article. General, this is what I think. And then this discussion over here, where they're having this color debate, someone's connected this to this because, well, you both, you know, you, you're talking about this tangent. But in general, let's let's be grounded here. Let's go back to basics, and you should look at this. And this was sort of bring this conversation back towards what matters. Because I found in just about every online discussion I've ever had and every discussion in life, this is sort of the way it goes. Sometimes your discussion starts off with black versus white and, and it doesn't progress very much. But sometimes you'll talk about uh, these tangential side subjects. Um, I don't want to come up with any examples right now. But things which aren't the core issue. But you discuss them and maybe you change your mind on them. But inevitably, if you deep uh, delve deeply enough into the issues, you sort of come back towards the core issue, which is what actually matters. So, whether that's what's happening here or not, isn't really the matter, but uh, isn't really the point. But inevitably, this sort of thing will happen where these discussions are happening, but on the general rebuttal level of rebutter. And rebutter does have this system in, put in where you can differentiate between direct rebuttals and general rebuttals. Inevitably, each one of these articles will prob probably be linked to general rebuttals of it. So, broad articles, Wikipedia, for example, a broad article which can be perceived to be rebutting the point here. So that's happened here. Here's some other articles out on its own, arguing blue, and someone's linked to well, grey. And so I've just moved them in. They've sort of got into line, and now there's this sort of flow happening where. Basically, everyone that enters any one of these websites and follows the discussion, the best direct rebuttals or the best general rebuttals, will find themselves actually inevitably at this site. Doing that, they'll find themselves here. Any one of these websites, if they follow through rebutter on the best rebuttals available, will find themselves here. Now, that's going to drive an awful lot of traffic to this site. So that's good for this person. Um, not that we're here to drive traffic, what we're here is to facilitate discussion. And the fact that this person in grey that's written this has written such a good article that they've been voted up to the top position of this general rebuttal position for this ground level based argument on this subject is testament to how good the article is. So they've earned their position, and that's why the square's been getting bigger. I'll go back, see the square gets bigger, the more people that link to it, the more votes it gets, the more um, respect the website has earned for itself. So it's going to get a lot of traffic through that. And then what's going to happen is, because this website is getting a lot of attention, let's say this guy up here maybe, or anyone else, any one of the hundreds of thousands of people out there that are interested in the subject of black versus white, um, he's going to go and write his own response to it. He writes a direct rebuttal to it. Meanwhile, someone else finds this green up here, I'll go back, so that was already there, the website's been there since the beginning. Someone goes and finds that and connects it as a general rebuttal saying, yeah, well, green, you know, aliens did it, whatever. 
And this guy down here is going, well, actually, uh, you know, the lizard men have done it, whatever, because I said this back here, and the lizard men have done it, and they've written a direct rebuttal, but, you know, no one pays much attention to it, maybe. Then someone else goes and writes, well, dark grey. So we've gone black, white, black, general dark grey, and now this general light grey, and now that this is getting a lot of attention, someone has, maybe this guy, maybe someone else has come back and said, I see your point, but I still think black is more correct. So they've written a direct rebuttal to this guy, and, and linked it. And then maybe we can connect up this green, so this green one goes, well, yeah, you think that, but actually everyone else thinks this, so you can sort of get this side loop thing happening. These articles down here get linked into this, so maybe these vaguely agree with each other, but this rebuttal to that also rebuts that quite well. And so again, we get this this article, which is written as a direct rebuttal to this, maybe it sort of brings in a few of the other loose websites and strands that are on similar topics. It acts as rebuttals to them as well, and so it gains popularity, votes, and respect within the community, which therefore, of course, brings on the same thing. It's getting a lot of attention because every single website back here now has been channeled into this main central theme of discussion which passes through this website and then passes through this website. So it's getting a lot of attention so the obvious thing to do is for someone to write a rebuttal to this. Now again this website may have a th now that it's getting all this traffic it may have a thousand rebuttals to it but through all those this one is going to be voted to the top because it is so well written and so articulate and compelling and it finds the most obvious conclusion to reach which in this progression black white black light gray dark gray 50 percent gray and i'm not saying that all arguments are going to end right in the middle of the two opposing positions but you know for the sake of de this demonstration it is the best possible conclusion that can be argued based on the evidence available and the you know and, and what's been said so far not that that necessarily matters, but it's the best. It's the best result. Someone writes it. Someone, you know, there are a thousand other articles in there, and nine hundred of them are, uh, are. I think you're an idiot. But guess what? None of them matter, because all of them will be downvoted, ignored, pushed aside. All that matters is the top one, two, or three are quality enough, and will get voted up, so that anyone who reads this will probably just click on the top one and go through. And there you go, you've got the best possible response. So then what happens is you get these other side ones will be generally linked in because it's a direct rebuttal to this, but it's just as true at debunking this and also debunking the, was it the lizard men version or whatever. So they get linked in, it gets more links incoming, it gets more votes. And, uh, and then yeah, over time all these other disparate conversations that are out happening around the web will get linked into this conclusion point. And this basically, and this is what excites me about it, this is the web, with, you remove all of these lines and that's the web that we have. This just random collection of websites making claims, making counterclaims, sitting in, in a hole where, you know, it's all organized by Google, it's all, all organized by keywords, and maybe, you know, when you search, um, you know, black versus white, maybe Aliens did it. That's very annoying. Sorry, let's go back in. And go all the way to the end. You go into... There it is. You go into Google and you search subject matter black versus white. And maybe this freak Aliens did it website comes up the top. Because as far as Google's concerned... Hate... Um, what is it? hyperlinks are all that matters and maybe every single one of these websites actually links to this green one just because you know it's it just gets the most attention for whatever reason maybe it was written by someone really famous I don't know but it uses the wrong criteria for assessing valid compelling arguments when it comes to discourse that's what Rebut is trying to fix I don't care which website is the most popular I care which website argues the point the most effectively, the most compellingly, the most articulately, so that we can just bring in all of these random claims, comments, rebuttals, etc. We can just streamline them all into this central avenue of the discourse that matters. 
and try and bring that discourse to a conclusion. And I think we can really do this with every topic, every subject matter. We can centralize it to a process which could bring about a conclusion. And that is just exciting. I just, it's awesome. Okay, so that's that's the, the animation, that's the, the visualization that I have in my head. I just need to animate it now or find someone who can. So if anyone out there is uh, good at animations and uh, <laughs> yeah, um, get in contact with me. And yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye.